welcome back once again in this video we are going to discuss about the dfa design technique based on the different types of problems first one is the pattern recognition problem divisible by k problem followed by w m r k problem then w m r k problem with the relational operators relational operators problems with the relational operators and fifth one is the NAWM RK problems and sixth one is NAWM RK problems with the logical operators let us study one by one first one is pattern recognition technique what is pattern recognition technique how it is going to be solved let us see let us understand pattern recognition problem what is this pattern generally we can say pattern is a repeated this is called as repeated thing or regularity what is this repeated repeated may be numbers like 0 0 1 0 1 1 and so on it may be alphabets like a b a a b a c c and so on in general you can say repetition in order to solve this problem that is pattern recognition problem pattern recognition problem we need to follow three steps step one step one says that identify sigma identify sigma sigma in a automata it sigma is colored as an alphabet identify the sigma that is minimum string that is identify the minimum string and draw a dfa for that identify the minimum string and draw a and draw a dfa to accept that string which string accept minimum string accept minimum string this is called as a initial dfa this is called as a initial dfa this is called as a initial dfa first step is completed let us go to Step 2. Step 2 says that identify identify transition that is not found in step 1 1 that is not found in Step 1. What is the transition? Consider delta Q0 upon accepting A, it reaches some x or y, x x state. We have found this A and we need to find one more thing that is delta upon accepting B, where it is going to reach? Then delta Q1 upon accepting A, where it is going to reach? We need to find this. Then let us consider step 3. What it says? Draw a DFA by using step 1 and step 2. And also draw a draw a transition table and also draw a transition table which DFA we need to write that is formal DFA what is formal DFA we shall see in example consider a question like this consider a question like this 
the question is draw a dfa that accepts string of yes having at least one ye at least one ye at least one ye carefully read the question at least one ye first we need to understand minimum things that is we need to identify the minimum string this is the entire question we need to find the minimum things that is minimum strings the minimum string is ye ye okay in order to accept this string we require two states state 1 state 2 i will name it as q0 and q1 okay this is a transition what is this transition here string a is going to transist here okay let us start this is a start state this is a start state. I will consider it as a. I will consider this as a final state. This as a final state. Step one completed. That is identify the sigma with the minimum string. We have identified a here. That is a minimum string there. And I write a DFA to accept that string. I have written the DFA to accept that string. This is called as the initial DFA. This is a initial DFA. Let us go to step 2. What is it says? What the step 2 says? Identify the transition not found in step 1. We need to identify the transition which is not found in step 1. Step 1 is completed. Okay. I will give the inputs. In the last video, we have studied about the language accepted by ADFA and the language which is not accepted by ADFA. Okay. I will give the inputs. A, A. First one, A. Q0 upon accepting a, so it is Q1. Okay, a completed. Then a. Okay, control is here now. If I give the a, if I give the a, where it should go? There is no transition. So we can tell that this DFA is incomplete. Identify the transition not found in step 1. We need to identify the transition that is not found in the step 1. And we need to rewrite the DFA. We need to rewrite the DFA. Consider a state like this. That is Q0, Q1. And we need to find one more thing. That is one more state. And I will write it as a question mark. Okay. This Q0 upon accepting A, we are going to write the Q1 state. Sorry, this is Q1. Q1 state. Q1 after accepting A, where it should reach? We don't know. Okay. Q0 or Q1 after accepting A, it is going to reach, it is going to reach Q1. It is going to reach Q1. You may ask, why is it Q1? Why not Q0? Okay. Let us see what we told in the trolley. Q1 after accepting one more a. If it reaches q0, whether the language is accepted by a DFA or not, you only tell me. You only tell me. First one a. q0 after accepting a, it is going to read the q1 state. Okay, then after q1, q1 upon accepting a, it is going to read the q0. Is it in the final state? No, it is not in the final state. So, our DFA failed to accept the string. In order to accept the string, what we need to do? In order to accept any string, that is A, 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 always the last string or the last alphabet should be in a final state. How to make that? We need to write it as Q1. Okay, I will give this A, 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 A. I will rewrite it as DFA like this. Q0 after accepting 
A is equal to delta Q1 state is a final state. Then upon accepting A, it is going to be the Q1. Okay. Consider a string like this. This is a start state. This is a start state. This is a final state. This is a final state. Okay. I will give the input A. Q0 upon accepting A, it is going to be the Q1 state. First one is completed. Then Q1 upon accepting A, it is going to be the Q1 state. Then upon accepting A, it is going to be the Q1 state. Then upon accepting A, upon accepting A, it is going to be the Q1 state. The language is accepted. Why? Because the last alphabet, the last letter is at the final state. Last letter is at the final state. Hence, we can conclude that this is a DFA. This is a required DFA for this question. Here, here, Q. Q means what? Here, Q means what? Q is a number of states. That is Q0. Q1. Q means states. Then sigma. Sigma is alphabet. Then Q0. Q0 is a start state. Q0 is a start state. Okay. Then remaining Q1. Q1 is a Final state. One is the final state. And one more, which one is remaining? Delta. Delta is a delta is a transition function. Let us write a transition table like this. With the help of this diagram. If you cannot see, I will write it here. I will write it here. Okay. The table is like this. Delta is a function. A is a input string. Q0 is a initial state represented by a arrow mark. Here you can see this one arrow mark. Represented by a arrow mark. Then Q1 star. Why star here? Star is a final state. Star indicates that final state. Okay. Q0 upon accepting A, Q0 upon accepting A, where it is reaching? Q1 state. Okay. Q1 upon accepting A, Q1 upon accepting A, where it is reaching? Q1. This is a transition table. That's it. This is a transition table. In the further videos, I will be discussing more problems on pattern recognition. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.